Before we begin, just a quick disclaimer that this video is for educational purposes only. If you are experiencing symptoms of ADHD, it's best to see a professional for a diagnosis. The truth about ADHD masking. People with ADHD don't always feel safe around others who don't have the disorder. We may feel judged and stigmatized by society, and as a coping mechanism, we hide or mask our ADHD symptoms to avoid feeling seen. Masking doesn't always develop in adults. Sometimes it's learned during childhood. Parents and other grown-ups would sometimes tell us to stop fidgeting, stop talking so much, and pay attention. While they mean well, children with ADHD symptoms learn that being themselves isn't safe, so they adopt a mask as a survival tool. Another reason for masking is that most people with ADHD are misunderstood. We can't always comfortably be ourselves around others because we may be labeled rude or weird. And what can ADHD masking look like in different situations? Here are some common examples. There are times when someone is speaking and we listen or focus too hard on their words, so we don't miss any details. Hyperactivity is sometimes masked by trying to feign calmness. But in reality, our mind jumps from one thing to another and we can't correctly process what's happening at the moment. At social gatherings, we may try to copy other people's behavior to fit in. This can mean suppressing leg bouncing or simply nodding at someone talking so we don't interrupt. Masking our symptoms can be exhausting. And truthfully, its disadvantages far outweigh its benefits. One of the pitfalls of masking is that it can end up delaying our ADHD diagnosis. We hide it so well that we may not even recognize that there's already a problem. Remember, Getting an official diagnosis can help us get a proper treatment plan from a psychologist. Another risk of masking is developing anxiety and depression. Because we bottle up so much stress without expressing it, the feelings might surface as fear, worry, loneliness, or even anger. Lastly, we're not able to live as our genuine selves and express what we truly feel we may feel that we're becoming someone else entirely because of our mask. Now, how do we unlearn masking? It takes some effort, but it's doable. We can start by connecting with others experiencing the same difficulties as we are in masking. There are ADHD support groups out there that welcome everyone from all walks of life. By connecting with others, we can express ourselves openly while feeling safe. If you're comfortable, you can tell a person you trust the most about your symptoms. ADHD may be hard to grasp at first, but if we explain it to them slowly, they would know how to support us better, and we'd feel more at ease around them. Lastly, paying a visit to a psychologist that specializes in neurodevelopmental disorders can help us discover what's really going on. They can give some activities for coping and some encouragement to start living as our genuine selves. To summarize, masking your ADHD can temporarily relieve you from being judged, but it can risk delaying your diagnosis and not living as your authentic self around the people you love. It may take some time, but connecting with others who have ADHD, getting social support, and paying a visit to your local therapist can help you slowly break that mask because you deserve to be seen for who you truly are. Did you find our video relatable and helpful? Click the like and subscribe button so we can keep making more. You can also visit the miniadhdcoach.com for more helpful tips about ADHD.